Welcome to Geology, uh, Australian Geology Travel Maps. I'm David Collins from Trilobite Solutions and in this video I'll show you how to create a UTM grid that you can put over your area uh, to help you um, sample systematically or just to cover your area uh, systematically. And I'll show you a few tips along the way. <coughs> now the first um, the first thing I'll show you is how I brought up the. In, the, in this demo, I'm going to use satellite imagery to um, to to see the area that I'm I'm interested in. It's an area near near Leonora, and um, I'm actually viewing Google satellite uh, imagery here. And the way that I did this was that um, I came into this X, X Y tiles area, and I said to create a new uh, layer, new connection. And I paste it in, in this, and um, and I did the the name there is just arbitrary. I've called it Google Satellite Hybrid. And once you've done that, I'll just cancel that. You can uh, double click this, and then it'll create a layer in in your current project. And um, there we go. Um, another thing that, um, an, another little tip is that it can be quite good to have the scale bar there. If, if you want the scale bar, then you go view, decorations, and scale bar. And, and I've customised that scale bar a bit to, to make it a, a bit uh, more visible. So, so now I've decided that, okay, I want to um, create a grid which is basically going to cover this area that we're viewing here. So we bring up the processing toolbox. If the processing toolbox is not already up, you go into processing and then toolbox. And what I've done is I've typed in here in the search area, search for whoop, create grid and this is the one that we want. Now I'm going to uh, make this into a, a line grid. The, um, you can, instead of creating all the lines, you can just create the, um, the points which are at the interse intersection of the lines and that can be useful in some circumstances. For the, um, the extent of the grid, this is nice and easy. Um, let's move that over there a bit. Uh, use canvas extent. In other words, um, use the area that I'm viewing at the moment. Now in this particular case, I'm going to have a, a 20 meter by 20 meter grid. Uh, leave these two as zero, and this is important here. Now we're in Leonora, that means that we're in zone 51, and the way to bring up the um, the projection that we need to use for this grid, the UTM projection is type in 51s, 51 south that, that is, and that gives us, there we can see that goes through Leonora. And run. And it's very quick, so we'll close that now. And now it's put a grid here uh, that's the size of that area. If I zoom out, uh, you might just see that the um, edge of the grid there. Let's just zoom in a bit. It's fairly faint, but um, it's there. So the next step is to, we want to be able to bring this into Australian Geology Travel Maps. So we need to save this as um, GeoJSON. So we'll go export, save feature as GeoJSON. Now this CRS is, is um, in, very important. We need to make sure that we save it as 4326 WGS84. But um, if you if you make sure you've got EPSG 4326, you can't go wrong. Uh, the other thing that I can do here is the um, by default GeoJSON is created with 15 decimal points in the latitudes and longitudes, which is completely unnecessary. So we can make the the file a fair bit smaller by Cutting that down to six, and just specify the file name now. And I'll just 
save it into downloads and I'll call it 20 meter grid Leonora save that okay so now what I will do is to um, email that to myself so I can open up the um, the email and the attachment on the phone and import it. So I'll go into uh, my email. So I'll call the email Leonora Grid. And now attach. one here and send that email off. Now what I've done is I've, I've opened up a very similar grid already on a uh, phone by opening up the email and here it is. So it's now uh, there's uh, a data layer uh, I've imported the GeoJSON that creates a, a data layer. Actually, this one's a slightly different one. This is a 100 meter grid at Leonora. And I can, now that I've imported into the phone, it's actually stored on the phone. And I can bring up that grid anytime I like. Just zoom in a bit more. And there you have it. You've got an offline grid pattern that you can use while you're in the field in Australian geology maps. Thanks for listening. I hope you enjoy using Australian geology travel maps.